Hi there. Just because we know that the elderly have a weakened immune system does not mean that we can just allow them to sit like sitting ducks until they die from COVID. It seems to be a general assumption that if someone over 80 gets the infection, they're automatically going to die. And I feel that this is wrong. We need to do what we can to strengthen their immune system. If you follow the directions that I give you, I think you'll find that we can do much better for our elderly. People in their 80s are 10 times more likely to die from COVID than people in their 50s. And this is not right. Two basic facts about human beings is that they are social beings and they need interaction. And also, the less you do, the less you feel like doing. But for some reason, these two basic facts are forgotten when it comes to the elderly. Now that everyone is in isolation and everyone's getting uncomfortable about being alone and not being able to socialize, once again, you find that the less you do, the less you want to do. And we're all beginning to feel some empathy for seniors who are left alone and don't have much interaction. So now that you know how it feels, please remember these principles when dealing with the elderly. I'm going to give you what I call my senior script. Number one, take them outside at least once or twice a day, even if it's just to go outside and watch people move up and down the sidewalk. Just like flowers, they bloom when they're outside to flourish. No one flourishes in darkness. Give them vitamins. Most seniors are not eating very well. They don't have a good appetite. They don't cook for themselves. Their diet is not what it should be. Give them lots of fruits and vegetables. Now, I would like all my seniors to take one cod liver oil capsule a day, one capsule of vitamin D, vitamin C, and zinc to get through this epidemic. But quite frankly, it would be a good thing for them to be on all the time. When it comes to vitamin D, give them at least 4,000 units a day. Vitamin D level should be the same as one's age. Therefore, if you have an 80 year old, their vitamin D level should be 80. And chances are, if they're getting anything less than 4,000 units, it's not going to be enough. Vitamin D will help their immune system. It will help their bones. It does so many good things for seniors. They should all be on it. Now, exercise. It doesn't matter what kind of exercise. I don't expect them to go out and run track or ride a bicycle, but even if it's just stretching, moving the ligaments, moving the muscles around, activating the system. Encourage them two to three times a day to do deep breathing, deep breathing exercises. Or if they happen to have a spirometer from previous hospitalizations, they can use the spirometer. Hydration is critical. They need at least 60 ounces of water a day. Most of the elderly are dehydrated and this dehydration causes renal failure, but also a lot of the seniors have urinary tract infections. Whenever I have an older lady who starts to act weird, weird for no reason, I check her urine and almost invariably she has a urinary tract infection. I believe that women over 80 should actually get a urinalysis once a month. Seniors should be exposed to music daily. So just like you, they don't want to see the same people every day, day in, day out. So use technology, Zoom, uh, FaceTime, Skype, whatever, to allow them to talk to people that are far away and give them some variety in their lives. Even if they love you sincerely, it's nice to have some variety. It keeps the mind working. Also make sure that their shots are up to date, especially the pneumonia shot. And one thing that improves immunity in everyone is sleep. If your senior is not getting eight hours of sleep a day, come and see me, let's figure out what we can do. So if you do all these things that I've mentioned for my senior script, we will have seniors like the gentleman last month who went into the hospital with COVID and came out alive and well at 104. Stay well and stay on top of the COVID situation. I wish you health.